First, I would like to thank you all for coming to spend some time with me today. Um, and before you watch this video, I would like to let you all know that I have used a very, very rare humming apparatus and it's extremely relaxing and it may not be for everybody, but I think that some of you will find that it may be the most relaxing sound that you have ever heard. Okay. Okay. Now, if you don't enjoy humming sounds, you may be able to tune it out. You may not, so I hope that you enjoy this state-of-the-art machine that I've used, or rather that somebody else was so kind to use for the entire morning. The entire morning. The entire, entire morning. So, I hope that you will enjoy this video, and let me know what you think about the humming apparatus and the person who's decided to use it all morning. Thanks. Hi. How can I help you today? Okay, you're looking to buy some gifts. Great. Well, I always suggest that you try out a product before you commit to buying it. So, since you're here and I have some time, why don't we do a mini makeover so that you can feel and experience all of the products. I'll show you our best sellers and then you can choose which ones you'd like. Okay, great. That sounds good. Now, do you have any allergies? No, any skin irritations? No. What about the person you're buying for? Okay. Great, let's go ahead and get started. Now, the first thing we want to do is make sure that there's no leftover makeup on your face at all. And even though it may feel like there's not or look like there's not, sometimes there's a little bit leftover. So I'm going to go ahead and show you our number one best seller for makeup remover. It's also my absolute favorite. It is this Neutrogena. Makeup Clearing Cleansing Towelettes or Makeup Remover. This is very gentle on skin. It doesn't burn your eyes or dry out your skin. Neutrogena is really good about uh, products that are good for you as well as uh, effective. This is empty. We just use this to show how it comes. But usually there's 30 towelettes in here. And this is gentle enough to use every day, so you can use it every night before bed. And it will last you about a month. We keep these cotton rounds pre-moistened with them. So if it's okay, I'd like to just run one of these across your face a few times to make sure that there's no leftover makeup. Would that be okay? And it doesn't look like 
like you have too much makeup on, so I think one should be fine. Okay. Great. This gets off any eye makeup, lipstick, bronzer, contour, anything that you think may be left behind because normally those things do get left behind. All it takes is a swipe or two with a towelette and it's taken care of. There we go. Perfect. Do you notice how it's not stinging your eyes at all? I love that. Sometimes you can get makeup remover. That just doesn't feel good. It's so important, especially before bed, to feel clean but also comfortable. It's hard to go to bed with stinging eyes. about done. Perfect. Okay, great. You're now completely clean and free of any makeup or leftover anything from yesterday. The next step that's really very important is to moisturize. Our best seller is this clean and clear dual action moisturizer. This will also help to keep your skin clear of blemishes, like pimples, things like that. Clean and Clear has definitely improved over the last few years to adhere to a more mature audience. Not just teenagers, but also adults who suffer from blemishes as well. But either way, this particular moisturizer is very smooth and soft and very easy on the skin. So I'm going to apply it with a brush, but just so that you can hear the smoothness and see it, I'll apply it to my hands. Usually I just take two fingers pump a few times, just like that, and as you can see, it's very creamy. And what I love about it is that it's not sticky. very smooth and comfortable. And it smells delicious. Would you like to take a smell? Yeah. So, as I'm going to apply it with a brush, I'll show you my brush apron, which is what I'll be using. I'll be using these brushes today. Maybe not all of them, but they are all pretty essential for different reasons. And we do sell them all. This brush here, number 73, is the one I'll be using to apply your moisturizer. These brushes are cleaned and sanitized in between each client, so not to worry. Just go ahead 
and snap it back on and get my number 73 which is a blush brush however like all makeup and makeup brushes you can use the brush for how you see fit some people use this for contouring the tapered edge is great to get into the hollows very precise and some people use it for blush it's great just to go up your cheekbone there as you can see it's very fluffy I'm just going to put a squirt or two on the brush and if you don't mind I'll go ahead and apply it now okay you have great skin yeah there we go Problem areas are usually on the sides of the nose that get pretty dry in the chin. What is the occasion that you're buying gifts for? Oh, how great. We're all moisturized and we're ready to get to the good stuff. <laughs> A very important step is to apply a primer. And this week we are giving away trials. This is our best selling primer. It is the Hourglass Veil Primer. Primers tend to feel a little bit oily. But this Hourglass Primer does not feel so oily. use this primer since I'm going to give it to you anyway. As you can see it has this beautiful frosted glass. Basically what a primer will do is to ensure that your makeup lasts all day because who wants to put on makeup and have it disappear a couple hours later. So I'll try to get all of the primer off first to show you the applicator, which is really just a thin sort of spatula. And we're just going to scoop some up. We'll apply it in dabs all around. You don't need very much primer. I'm going to go ahead and use the same brush that I used, number 73, to apply your moisturizer. We're just going to go ahead and blend that into your skin. It does feel very smooth. Pay special attention to underneath the eyes where the concealer and foundation and contour will be or highlight. There we go. 
Okay. Let's get started on the makeup. Do you typically wear a lot of makeup? Okay. Okay. So, our best-selling foundation, I don't know if you wear that very often, is again Neutrogena. It's very, very delicate, again, on the skin. And it's a skin clearing foundation. So it will help your skin to stay supple and clear of any blemishes. This is in the shade 70, which I think will match your skin tone perfectly. So I always use a brush when applying my own or anybody else's foundation. It's just so important not to get the oils from your fingers in the pores of your face. that could cause blemishes, pimples, nobody likes those things. <laughs> so I'm going to pull up my favorite foundation brush. This is numbered FB07. It stands for face brush and just the number of it is seven. can see it has a flat top and it's very dense and that's to give a blurring effect so that it blends in nicely to the rest of your skin so I'm just going to go ahead and put a little of the foundation on the brush just a dab and if it's okay with you I'm going to go ahead and blend it in now So the way I like to do it is in small, quick circles, and that will work to blend out everywhere. There we go. Yeah, this, this matches your skin tone perfectly. always also really important to get it even with your hairline and to blend it in so that it looks natural. And I'll get under here. Perfect. Great. And on your ears too, don't forget. <laughs> okay. Perfect. That looks great. After we have done the foundation, we're going to do some concealer underneath the eyes just to clear up any dark circles and lighten up under the eyes so you look a little more awake, a little brighter, ready for the day. Okay? Great. As you can see, this tube of Age Rewind Dark Circle Eraser Concealer is well loved. It comes with a sponge tip applicator that you would put just directly under your eyes in a triangle pattern. But today, we're going to apply it directly with a beauty blender, which is how you would normally blend it in anyway. So I'll go ahead and put it right on here. And to get more of the concealer out, you just twist 
like that until it all comes to the top. So I'll put it directly on the beauty blender and we'll go ahead and just blend it in. I like to do this one with little sort of like splotches. Just right under the eye, right onto the side there. Perfect. There we go. really have dark circles anyway, but it doesn't hurt just to brighten up underneath. There we go. Great. And with the same beauty blender, we're going to use a liquid highlighter. And this is called Dream Lumi. And the applicator looks like a little paintbrush. And normally I would just apply this in a sort of like a an L shape right along the under of my eye. But today again, I'm just going to go ahead. But again, today we're just going to go ahead and apply it right to the beauty blender. I use the same beauty blender to blend out my concealer and highlight liquid highlight anyway and we're going to do the same thing right underneath the eyes there we go, perfect the beauty blender is super soft and very squishy <laughs> that's a good word to use for it squishy Excellent. Now while that is setting and drying, we're going to focus on your eyes next. So the first thing I want to do is just sharpen up the eyebrows just a tiny bit. So the next thing I want to do is just sharpen up the eyebrows just a tiny bit. And I'm going to be using this Anastasia Beverly Hills Eyebrow Duo And as you can see when you open it, it's got two different colors Meant to add some definition shape to your eyebrows going to reach in my handy dandy brush apron and pull out our eyebrow brush and if you can see it has a very slanted edge and it's a very dense brush so that you can dip it right into the powder and then just apply the shape I like to run the darker color right along the shape of the eyebrow just like that I was going to try my left hand but I don't think that would work very well we don't want you looking silly right along the shape there that's great and I take the lighter color and then I'll just brush into the brow to fill it in that's great there we go again just filling in perfect okay that looks great The next step 
is your eyeshadow. Now, we have a best-selling brand for eyeshadow, and it is Urban Decay's Naked Palettes. We do have all of them available, but I just brought the first and third. The first, as you can see, has this velvety cover. Virgin Sin Naked Sidecar Buck Half Baked Smog Dark Horse Toasted Hustle Creep and Gunmetal. And the third palette. Has this tin like packaging and what looks like wrinkles or imperfections in the packaging that are actually meant to be there. This one snaps closed. And again, you can see, you got the brush, and you get all of these colors Strange Dust Burnout Limit Buzz Trick Nooner Liar Factory Mugshot, Dark Side, and Black Heart. Which palette would you prefer to use today? Oh, okay. That's totally fine. We won't need to use any. No big deal. mascara. Okay, great. Our best-selling mascara is this sumptuous volume. It comes in this great gold packaging. And I'll show you the brush on it. It's very full. And it gives a great voluminous look and curl to the lashes. Now, we, get, we recommend not to do that very often. And something tells me you're here for the sound. I'll make an exception. Okay. If you're more comfortable, we can do this with your eyes closed or open. Just stay very And 
don't forget about the bottom lashes. Sometimes that's the most important. Excellent. That looks great. Now, I know that you said you wanted more of a daytime look, so I'll just show you our contour palette. This is another Anastasia Beverly Hills product and it is our contour palette I'll Go ahead and slide it out As you can see the actual palette and the packaging look pretty identical that we have six shades to contour with. Normally I will use these two blended together right here along the hollows of my cheeks, all along my forehead, down my temples, and then some on my chin as well. And if you'd like to, you can also contour your nose and right underneath your lips. The lighter yellow looking color in the middle is for right below your eyes, just to give it that glow, as well as this lighter pink or peach shade. This would obviously be for a darker complexion, and this one here is for a highlight. I like to use that one on my brow bone, but you could also use it along your cheekbone. On your cupid's bow, it's always nice to have a little highlight as well. I want to show you one other thing about this particular palette, which sets it apart from a lot of other contour palettes. I'm going to just grab a pen probably isn't the most preferable way to do it, but if you take your pen and put it right here in the little space and push up, the actual pan of makeup will come right out like that. But you'll see now we have an empty pan space and it's great because you can go right onto the website you'll see the name on the back this one is called sand and you can order just this pot or pan of makeup to put right back into the space that way you don't have to buy an entire new contour kit as mostly we all buy it just to contour our own faces and so if I use these two mostly this one doesn't get used often or if you use this one and this one mostly this one won't get used very often so to go and to buy an entire new palette at however much this costs which we can go over after um, is sort of wasteful when you can just go and buy one pot of each I thought that that was very cool. Oh, you do think that they'd like it? Great. Well, we're actually having a sale on this. Okay. I have a last couple of things to show you. It's all about lips. These are our two biggest sellers, and interestingly enough, they couldn't be more opposite, and I'll show you why. So, 
our first bestseller. shade, which is called Blankety, and you can see here, it's a very nude, pinkish shade. It's currently what I have on. It looks good on almost everybody. It's just a really good natural, neutral shade. So I love how MAC lipsticks come in this bullet, sort of defining casing. They're known for their amazing products and great packaging as well. Our next best-selling lip product, which is also from MAC, is a polar opposite of this here. It is loud, it is fun, and it is bright. And this is called Candy Yum Yum. It's fitting. And as you can see, it is a very bright, bright pink color. It's probably not for everybody, but it's fun to have it, to be fun with it. Makeup is about having fun, so having fun colors is, is good sometimes to play around with and then to go back with that nice neutral color when, and when you need to go back or have a more professional or casual look to go back to that neutral color is always good as well. So we have both of these and that is what I have to show you today. Is there anything else particular that you'd like to see? Okay. okay, great. Well, you look fantastic. You looked great when you came in, but now you just look like an enhanced version of yourself, which is what makeup should always do, I think. Is there anything specific that you think that they would like? Okay, the contour palette. Okay, the mascara. And both lipsticks. Well, well, I guess somebody's fun. <laughs> okay, I'll go ahead and get those backed up for you and I'll meet you over at the register. It was great to meet you and talk with you today. And if you need anything else, please don't hesitate to call and ask for Belle, okay? Okay, I'll see you in a second. This is a joke. 